So I dropped a video yesterday, forced to live on one meal per day. Can't remember what I said in that video exactly. I know say it was something to do with the rise in gas and electric energy prices and probably the cost of living as well. Now the timing of that video was quite bad still because the previous video that man dropped it was called one energy top up away from being homeless. So man was talking about gas and electric prices going up and that. Now the videos that you see for the most part, most of them are like three, four, five months old. Every now and then I'll make a video and release it on the day or a week later or something. But for the most part, if you see a new video, quote unquote, it's actually a really old video that man's made. Most of the time, the genre or the topic of the video is quite sporadic in it. So for example, man will drop a video about talking about gyal. Then the next video might be about property and energy prices and then making sacrifice. You understand what I'm trying to say? But this time I made a little mistake and that and had two videos that were pretty much exactly the same get released one after the other, innit? So um, anyway, someone's left a comment underneath that video. I think the person's name is Tom James or something like that. He left a comment underneath the video I released yesterday which was called Forced to Live on One Meal Per Day. And he was saying something along the lines of, yeah, he had to go five years without any holidays to get ahead. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm on. Yeah, you see, you have to check it. The last time I went on holiday was in 016, you know. So it's September the 22nd right now. The last time I went on holiday was September 2016, six years ago. Now, don't get it twisted. It's not because man's trying to save money. And... No, 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 I don't give a damn about holidays, to be fair, innit, yeah? But I understand the mindset. I respect the mindset. I respect a man who, he might not even earn that much money. Yeah, I don't really expect anyone to be earning 150 grand to be watching my videos. He's probably just earning the average wage. But you know what? Man said, so, okay, cool. Man's earning the average wage. You know what? I want to get ahead. So you know what I have to do? I have to make some sacrifice. See, man respect man like that and gal like that. But for the most part, it's only going to be the man them that move like that. Gal are stupid. There's certain people out here, man and gal, that believe they're entitled to three, four holidays a year. Why when you're on an average sal salary? Yeah, maybe one holiday a year. But three, four holidays a year, if you're on an average salary, man, get out of here, man. Who do you think you are, blood? Seriously, who do you think you are? See, certain people, they want to live a champagne lifestyle on a lemonade budget. Literally. They want to be able to drive a Ferrari, but only have the peas to buy a Ross Clark BMW. It's got to be done. you got to make that sacrifice. This is why man always bang on about this Rolex and AP watch thing. It's got nothing to do with the Rolex and the AP watch. It's got something. It, it, it's what it represents. It's a mindset. The mindset of, do you know what? I think it's better and more important to wear AP, Breitling, Cartier, Rolex watch than buy a property for my kids to live in. Buy a property for my kids to live in now and then I can... Get pass it on to them. My grandpitney them can inherit it, so on and so forth. You gotta have that that work ethic. You gotta make that sacrifice. You gotta be like man, like Tom James, whoever he is, wherever part of the country it might be on Ross Clark Mars, isn't it? You gotta be like that. You gotta be willing to fix yourself. You know what? Yeah, man, gotta grind. Man, gotta make sacrifice and that. Even me, man, the hardest grind, one of the hardest grinders out here. It was my birthday yesterday. Yes, the 22nd today is my birthday yesterday, 21st of September. Man turned 30 years old. I still went into Ross Clark work. For the last what? Yeah. For the last four or five years, I went into work every day on my birthday. Now, someone could just, oh, go into work on their birthday. That don't make you a grind or anything. But what I'm saying is the mindset. Like, for me, it's like, yeah, listen... I don't care in it, yeah, like my birthday and I'm going to work and that work is more important. Or as important, should I say. See me, I'm in the process of buying the next property and this is how goal and achievement oriented I am. You know, yeah. So obviously, boom, let's say September touchdown, first of September touchdown and that. Most people, if they were in my position, their birthday's on the 21st of September, then we figure to this out, yeah, only three weeks, my brother, then it's my birthday, I'm going to turn 30, big 3 oh, my brother. 
I wasn't even thinking about that. All I'm thinking about is when am I going to complete on this property? See, I don't give a fuck about turning 30, 31 or whatever Rask Clark age. I'm more interested. It means more to me that I'm going to be completing on a property soon. That's what I care about more. I don't care about no Ross Clark birthday. You see, some people, they're not doing jack shit with their life. So the biggest thing that they've got to look forward to is their Ross Clark birthday. Not a property, not oh, setting up this business or anything like that. Some people, their, 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 their biggest goals and dreams and that is getting a new pet or going on holiday or waiting for their Ross Clark birthday or someone else's birthday. Foolishness, blood. That's how you got to be, man. You have to have that mindset. Like, yeah, sacrifice and that. You've got to go five years without a holiday and that. You know, everyone want to live this extravagant lifestyle. Stop looking at people's other people's lifestyles on Instagram. Because most of them is fake as well, you know, the lifestyle. Like. You see, trust me, you see all these girls taking these pictures. Yeah. <laughs> what some of these girls do as well. They go on one holiday or whatever. I take a hundred pictures and that. And three hours later, I'm back. The flipping camera cut off. Every now and then, I'll get a little disruption whilst I'm filming a video. I had to start turning my phone on flight mode because a man will try to phone me whilst I'm making a video. I either cut the camera or I'll get distracted and that. Um, I'll get some update pop up on my phone, then it will cut off the camera. Then the phone want to do an update whilst I'm making a video. There was even one time. I fell off a chair whilst I was making a video, you know. So every now and then, I'll get some kind of dis uh, disruption and distraction and that. But yeah, as I was saying, these gal out here will take a hundred uh, pictures and that whilst they're on holiday and that, and sporadically release them throughout the year. Like there's gal out here, they will go on holiday and take all these extravagant pictures and that, and make the world believe that they're having the time of their life and that. But what they don't show you is. They're staying in a two-person hotel room, but there's five and six of them. Yeah, three of them in the bed, one of them on the floor, one of them in the bathroom, and then I don't even know where that one is. Probably hooked up with some other guy in uh, the room opposite. This is what happens with these gals. They don't tell you that. They don't show you that. Maybe some of the men them do it as well, but definitely the gals them. People who sleep in baths and that, you know. See, they don't show you the whole. They don't show you the shit hotel room that they're staying in. They just show you all the amazing pictures and that. Y'all are fake, man. Girl, <laughs> you could be a brother watching this right now. Your girl will put you in financial debt. Furthermore, you could be in financial debt right now. And your girl will still say to you, you know we need to go on holiday, you know. We ain't been on holiday in the last 12 months or 18 months and that. We need to go on holiday. A girl will come to you. You'll be in financial debt. Yeah, you'll be struggling and that. She'll come to you and say, oh, let's get a pet. I want a parrot. Or a rabbit, or a dog, or a cat. All because they want the full package and that. But they're broke. They're in financial debt. They... Gal will have you in financial debt, blood. Yeah. That could never that, I mean, that would never happen to me. Yeah. That would never happen to me. Me and my man, because this is what gal do. They spend, they spend, they spend. Yeah, and they will keep, they'll bleed a man dry. They'll make a man buy all these things that they don't need and that to portray this fake image and that. That's not happening to me. That's not happening to me, man. But, um, yeah, like, even me now, when I complete on my property, I'm not going to have much money left. What, a couple grand or something like that. Um, But I don't need to downgrade my lifestyle. See, no, no. See, I'm a man, whether I have money or not, I could have... 30, 40, 50, 60 grand Or I could have 10 grand No one will know No one will know that I only have a grand Or 30 grand Because I don't live this uh, Fictitious, this pretentious lifestyle now. Like I said before Man earn about 60 grand a year I can meet a gal And she could be earning 25 grand a year She's basically earning a third of what I'm earning But she will live like she's earning My wage or more than that, that That's why I don't care like my girl, she don't drive no amazing car or nothing. Maybe she might get one soon or something. But for now, she just drives a normal car. She don't drive some amazing car or nothing. Like that. But even if she did drive some brand new C43 Mercedes and that, I don't business. Like, man, don't care about... Obviously, don't get twisted. I want to get a nice car and that. But I know that I need to put my... I need to get my priorities straight and in order and that. So, 
I don't care about people driving all these flashy cars and that. I know what I got. I know what I got, man. But, um, yeah. Yeah, man. People with a make sacrifice and that. That's the only way you're going to become wealthy. That's the only way you're going to have money in your pocket. You have to make sacrifice, man. Cut the spending and that. Why are you spending money? Like, there's people that wear clothes and that. And they drive a car. You'd think that these people are on 100, 150 grand a year. There's man driving cars that people who own businesses that earn 10 grand a year drive. So a man could be driving the latest Mercedes and that. Yeah, and he will be 25, 30 years old or whatever. And he's driving the same car. Although he's only on 35 grand a year. Um, he'll be driving that car. But then there'll be a man who's a business owner earning 10, 12, 15 grand a, a month and that. And he's driving the same car. They don't make no sense, man. You're batting above your weight. Why, if you're on 35 grand a year, living in a, a, a box room at your mum's yard, or you're living in a council house, why do you need to be driving a 60, 70 grand car? When I used to work at Broadwater Farm, when I used to work for Homes Haringey, man's office was at Broadwater Farm, you know. Farm, you know. Yeah, blood. Not Broadwater Farm, but around the corner. No, the community centre in Broadwater Farm. If you go to the first floor, which is the top floor, you will find homes of Haringey people in there. Man used to work there. And when I used to walk through the car park and that, man would see some nice cars, you know. Range Rover, Q7, not not all the time, not and that that weren't all the cars that was there. Obviously, there was normal cars in that there, innit? But it's like if you can afford to drive a Range Rover Sport or a Q7, why are you living on a farm for? Why are you living on a farm? Why don't you go to somewhere where everyone drives those sorts of cars? Louder than that. You see, man wanna be a rich man in a poor area. Nah. Like I said earlier, there's certain people, they want to live a lemonade, a champagne lifestyle on a lemonade budget. That's them. There's certain people, they want to look like rich people. And you know what? There's that video. I need to make that video called the Congo Dandies. Uh, I made one already. I'm going to make another one again. And um, it's about people who are looking super duper fresh, drip, drip. But they're living in a broke area. You got man walking around in Edmonton and Tottenham. The slums, you know. Fendi head to toe, Balenciaga head to toe, Montclair head to toe. But you're in the ends, but you're in a, a dump. Don't get twisted. Man, I love my area, Edmonton and that. But what I'm saying is, blood, like, you're trying to dress like you're, you're, you're better than this area. Like, why are you dressing all drippy drippy and looking suave and, and you're in a broke area? You should be living somewhere where, you get me, the area's plush and nice and that. Anyway, man, just well, come back and continue the video, innit? Stay wise, done now.